If you're a new agent or an agent who just simply wants to ramp up their business and you don't know where to start, stick with me and I'm going to share with you exactly what you can do to get leads and also how to grow your business. My name is Alicia Crestel and if you are all about growing your real estate business, having an amazing life and creating endless referrals, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get all the tips that I share. By the end of this video, you'll have five specific ways to get leads, how to run your business, and even what not to do. And I know these work because not only have I used these in my own business, and I'm 100% referral based, while still raising a family with three small kids, but I've had clients do the exact same. Number one is all about mindset, and it's to change your brain from thinking, how can I get a lead? How can I get business? Where can I find a client to sell or buy a house? To how can I help everyone I know? Not in real estate, just in general. Come at it as, what are the people who are important to me need? Do they need a referral for a daycare? Do they, are they looking for a college? Do they need a book on a certain topic that I know that they need help with? Or do they just need an ear to say hi? That is one of the biggest things I think as a real estate agent, especially as a new agent, you're so hungry for the business is that you forget that how to get the business is just to have conversations. And as long as you can be patient, and I know it's hard because you just want to close a deal, as long as you can be patient and just keep up the conversations with the people in your sphere and figure out how you can help them, even if it has nothing to do with real estate, that is what's going to get you business. Because when you help them and you ask them what they need and what their goals are, what are they going to ask you? They're going to ask you about your goals and what you need, and they're going to want to reciprocate. Number two, don't buy a CRM. If you are new or you're changing your business around, don't buy a CRM because the most important thing to your business right now is the people we talked about in number one. The people who are important to you in your sphere, write them on a piece of paper, know who they are, get a handle of those people and the conversations that you're having. Once you know who they are and you've kind of gotten a handle on it, then go buy, see it, buy a CRM. But if you start buying a CRM as a new agent or someone who's going from transactional to relational, you're going to be spending this money and you're not going to have the deep understanding of what's going on with the relationships. You know, putting them on a drip campaign through a CRM does not make you a successful agent. You might get a deal or two out of it, or you might get a lot of deals out of it, but it's not a long standing so solution to your problem. The solution is developing relationships with your sphere and the people who are most important to you. Don't buy a CRM yet. And if you want all the details on how to run a CRM without paying for one and just doing it pen and paper or Excel spreadsheet, make sure you check out the video. I have a whole detailed video about it. Number three is turn up the volume on yourself. And if you're an introvert, you can still do this. And you might be surprised to know if you're an introvert, if you actually turn up the volume on yourself in social media and in branding, you actually have to have less conversations and less attention on yourself. Yep. Whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, turning up the volume on yourself is one of the ways that you can get more business without spending anything. So think about social media and doing video. And I know a lot of people have a hard time with video, but nothing gets you into relationship faster than being able to see and hear someone and know if you can trust them or not through a video. Whether it be live or recorded or stories. Stories is actually a really easy way to get video going without all the pressure because it's short and it goes away. And I hope we know by volume, I don't mean you just being louder with your voice, right? Being more seen, which is hard for some people. You don't want to be seen, but we're in a business where if people don't know you do real estate, how can they ask for your help? So being more present and whatever you like to do, being louder about it, talking more about it, showing up more for it. And another way to be loud is whatever you like to do, you may not be doing that right now because of your business, you wanting to get more clients and you're so focused on that. If you focus on just letting yourself come to the surface and be more loud with that, I promise you, you'll get more business. Number four is branding. Getting to know your brand first off and understanding what your brand's all about. Who do you wanna work with? Who are you? What do you want people to feel when they work with you? Get a handle on that and then start putting it out there. So in social media, if you want people to feel cared for, then do topics around being cared for. 
If you want to be the agent that is known for off-market properties, then do content around off-market properties. If you want to be known for pet-friendly real estate, then make content around pet-friendly pieces. What neighborhoods are pet-friendly? Where are the dog parks? Um, things that people can meet at with dogs, restaurants that allow dogs. Those type of things are gonna attract the clients that you want. They're your people, and they're the, the highest likelihood of you getting business from. And the fun thing is, is that you don't have to do this stuff and be all out in the open and go to every single party. I'm at the beach for a month right now, and I'm doing all of this from my phone and my computer. Number five is that you have got to stop chasing shiny objects. Everything works, right? Like it does. I'm here to tell you like whatever you pick will work. Pick what you think will suit you best and your personality and stick with it. Pick one to two things and you stick with it until it's proven that it doesn't work or that it doesn't make sense anymore. Keep going and do it until it works. There's so many times where I see agents who are this close to breaking through and they stop or they are making such great progress with YouTube and then they stop. You can't stop. There, People wanna sell you a million things and people wanna say this works, that doesn't work, this doesn't work, don't do that, do this. I work relationship, but I'll tell you, cold calling works, door knocking works, FISBOs work, expires work, relationships work, they all work. You gotta pick one and you gotta roll with it and be committed and once you do that, you're gonna flourish because the more effort you put into one system, you will get results. But if you're only doing five things here and there and here and there, it's really difficult to get results. Stick with it. If this is helping you and you're all about growing your business and you want to know more tactics on how to do that, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We talk about this almost every week.